Hey Aries, this is EJ from Toronto Town. I hope you guys are having a good start to the month. Hope you had a good January <clears throat> and a fairly decent start to the new year. This is going to be a general monthly read for you Aries. Let me shake these up before I cut them. I've actually been sitting here for a few minutes shuffling the cards. So Aries, this is your general monthly read for February 2019. Just a reminder that I read my cards straight up and I don't do reversals. So let's get started. This is going to be a four card spread for the four weeks in the month, plus one card for overall energy from the bottom of the deck and three for guidance. So Aries, your first card is the King of Wands. Second card is the Judgment card. <clears throat> Third card is the Princess of Cups. And the fourth card is the Eight of Coins. And from underneath the deck, your overall energy, Seven of Swords. So let's see what we got going on here, Aries. So this first full week of February and kind of coming out of the last week of January, it looks like um, you've been kind of messing with someone that has been trying to sabotage what you're what you're doing and I don't, I'm not necessarily getting a sense that this is a, a relationship issue but with the king of wands one of the meanings for the simply deep tarot um, is about sabotage sabotaging someone else's work or your own work and it seems like um, somebody's just being greedy they're not being fair, and they, they this and this is the energy you're bringing with you into the month. Um, and they're pretty much just anything that you're doing, they're cutting you down, Aries. I'm not sure why this person is doing this to you, but it seems like they're a little jealous. Um, and just the color of the card is kind of telling me there's a lot of jealousy there. Um, with someone in your work environment, maybe, or maybe a school environment. Uh, and they're, they're upset because you are able to do some of the things that you've been doing as far as a certain project is concerned. I know this is not going to resonate with every Aries, but that's what I'm getting with this, this first full week and some of the energy you're bringing with you from last month. Moving into the second week, it looks like you're going to have to make a decision to move forward. And this may be, again, about a job. You may... Um, have to make a decision about transferring out of the city, out of the state, um, or out of the company into another company, or out of a certain department and into another department. It looks like some of <clears throat> what may be going on is coming stemming from this person that's trying to sabotage your work. So at this point, you may just be looking just, just to get the hell out of whatever is going on with the judgment card. That's a major arcana and the only one on the board at this time. So it's telling me that um, this is going to be a, a big move, even though it seems like it's coming just because <laughs> you're trying to get rid, of, get rid of this one situation, but it's actually going to um, propel you into another uh, work situation, which should be good for you, Aries. Going into the third week of February, you've got the Princess of Cups, and I'm definitely getting there's going to be some misunderstandings um, that you're probably going to have to clarify. And if this were reversed, that is what that card would mean. Usually in its upright position, it talks about keeping your emotional distance. However, in this instance, this is about um, just people not communicating, you know, and, and some of this is kind of in tune with just planetary energy, even though there is no... Um, there's no serious energy as far as the planets are concerned for the month of February. In fact, I think this is the only month this year where everything is at a standstill. But Mercury goes retrograde next month. So you, you may feel some of that energy beginning to start up now. And there's going to be a misunderstanding, um, possibly about money. More than likely, it's going to be about sharing um, something that you're working on or with someone about and you guys are just going to have a misunderstanding it feels like you should have it cleared up it may take a little bit of back and forth but you'll have it cleared up by the end of the month which brings us to your last card the eight of coins and you guys are going to be busy 
busy working on projects and different things. Um, I dare say the second week, this judgment card um, with the possibility of moving into another position, another department, and you may have known about this already, um, but again, I feel like whatever this is with this person in the office environment sabotaging, and it's got something to do with it, but at the end of the month, You'll be hard at it. You'll be working on some projects with some other people, it seems like. And everything should go good. As far as your romantic life, with your overall energy being the Seven of Swords, you may be trying to strategize on some solutions um, in terms of your love life. That's your, this is your overall energy. In the same tone, you may uh, be trying to strategize on your work environment. And this is very much a work reading Aries, so I'm not picking up that much as far as romance for the month of February. Um, I am going to do a money honey read for Aries shortly, so we'll see what that brings up. Aries, I'm going to leave this reading here. Um, let me see, before I do that, I'm sorry, let me pull three cards for guidance. I'm sorry, Aries, I'm not in a rush. Let's see. So the first card is the Four of Wands. Second card is the Star card. And the third card is the Princess of Swords. So the universe is telling you, Aries, that you can move to the next level. And all of this is in tune with you making the decision to move forward. And this has got to be job related. Um, and working hard at the end of the month is just a real sense that... Um, this is work related and it's going to have some recognition attached to it, but you are moving up to the next level and you are moving forward. Um, and you, whatever tests you may have that are related to this new position, you should do fine. Hopes, wishes, and dreams, a star card. So Aries, this is a good thing for you. And hopefully some of this will help you, um, think about manifesting love. You get this part of your life straight. If this has been an issue for you, Hopefully, this will get you on some firm footing, and if you're ready to start dating in the near future, hopefully all of this will help. With the Princess of Swords, uh, which is a lot of air energy, be daring, but don't be pushy. Just be daring, take the risk, especially at work, but don't be pushy. Don't try to push your opinions or anything off on anybody, because everybody is so touchy and sensitive anyway right now. Um, Take the risk, but don't be too pushy. Okay, now I'm going to leave it there, Aries. I'm sorry. I hope you guys have a good week. I hope you had a good weekend. I will be back here to do another reading for you, and I will talk to you then. Bye, y'all.